What are the rules for Pokemon Nuzlocke challenge? The mandatory rules. Number one, if a Pokemon faints, it's considered dead and has to be released or put in the PC for good. Number two, only the first Pokemon encounter of each route, cave, etc. can be caught. Number three, all Pokemon, all ca caught Pokemon must be nicknamed. Number four, black slash white out, which means the player has fainted, is game over for the player even if there's quote unquote living Pokemon in the PC. Number five. Player must use their uh, Pokemon that they've caught. No trading, no no mystery grip, no nothing. Non-playable uh, non character trading is okay. No intentional resetting or reloading is allowed. There, this will make the, ga uh, the game Nuzlocke Challenge, you know, the other uh, required rules useless or pointless. Now these rules have like are the major rules in order to do this. They have to be implied. You have to follow these rules, no matter what. And it's like pretty much the whole point of like the Nuzlocke. Now there are gonna be like optional rules where players are able to like uh, use to like maybe make it a little more challenging and or a little bit easier for themselves but like but like again these are optional rules you do not have to follow the optional rules you have to at least follow the mandatory rules the main rules of the Nuzlocke game in order to uh to make it you know like uh to make the challenging challenging the challenge in order to be challenging or else the Nuzlocke doesn't really count for anything at all. You know. Uh, even though I haven't done it myself, I figured, you know, I'll put this up. Now, there's going to be a link down below to what, where I got my info from. But anyways, optional rules are the starter Pokemon ba is based on the Pokemon's last uh, ID number. Grass, one, two, three, or uh, one, two, or three. Fire, four, five, or six. Water, seven, eight, or nine. Or zero is the uh, player's choice. Uh, number two, Spe uh, species says duplicate cause it. The first Pokemon type, in, uh, the first Pokemon type in the area has already been caught, the player has a second chance. Now they can keep on going until they find a new p player. Until they find a new Pokemon that has a type they haven't caught yet. Number three, the Pokemon, uh, the player can limit of how many times they can uh, use a duplicate uh, cause in the area uh, or else they lo pretty much lose their chances so they can say one and they could have one extra chance so they could say 20 and that's it I think they're like obviously they have they'll probably put like anywhere between one and five but anyways number four Nuzlocke is not enforced it until the player gets pokeballs now when it comes to that means that they face their rival before they get pokeballs if they lose, it doesn't really, like, uh, doesn't count towards them. They can apply it if they want. They can start it right off the bat if they want to, but they, like, uh, number four, it's, like I said, not a, they don't have to apply. The optional rules do not have to apply. Number five, the player has to use, if they choose this rule, optional rule, the player has to use the same amount of Pokemon at, in, in uh, uh, against a uh, gym po Pokemon player, uh, you know, opponent, or when they go against their rival. Number six, the battle style has to be set on, uh, has to be put as set, which means if a Pokemon f opponent Pokemon has fainted, their Pokemon has to stay out no matter what. And number seven, the Pokemon player, uh, the Pokemon starter, 
must be released after checking uh, to catching their first wild Pokemon. Now, the, there are many more rules to this, but they don't have to really, you know, apply to these. To any of these, there's much more in the link below if you want to check that out, but they don't have to if they don't want to. Now, if you guys do enjoy this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below what you think. And don't forget to check out all the cool stuff that I put up 